Welcome back to DNA on the Go. Today we are talking about the newest James Bond movie, No Time to Die. Alright guys, welcome back. So, No Time to Die is the final and last Daniel Craig's, uh, I guess what, James Bond? Challenge because this is his fifth James Bond movie, uh, No Time to Die. And this is his last one. He's done. And he's done, done. He's done in this particular one. Uh-huh. Uh, so the movie picks up about five years after the last movie. You feel kind of rich to add there. We're not going to give any spoilers. Uh, this movie is a continuation where he's dealing with Spectra if you deal with the last one. It's hard for me to give you a kind of quick summary about it, other than it's a typical James Bond movie. Lots of spy thriller, lots of action, lots of shooting, lots of chicks. So, yeah. Yeah, I've never been a really big James Bond fan. Um, so when I, I came on, I came into this movie with low expectations, but the movie started out very well. It, it, really the first, well. The first 30 minutes to an hour was really, really good. And I was like, okay, we're going into it. But I think that we had too many villains and I think that we got way too into our um, cliches. Because I can now, like when I see James Bond, I see Daniel Craig, I compare him to Keanu Reeves or to Tom Cruise, where I'm like, they're bringing something new to every movie that they do. Like Tom Cruise has been doing, he's on his eighth, he's working on his eighth Mission Impossible and he brings something new. Like there was a scene, this isn't a spoiler, but there was a scene where they brought in a, um, like a military aircraft that was the same from from uh, Mission Impossible. And I was like, are you gonna hang off the side of it? No. Are you gonna hang off the side of it like Tom Cruise? Or are we just gonna drive this plane? Like, Whoa. no, like I need you to bring extra. Like it was the same that, and, and I have to like, rant a little bit. And the whole, um, uh, what is it called? Invincible James Bond. Like the the, the fight scene, the fight scenes didn't bring any any stakes because I was like, every time somebody shot at him, he was perfectly fine. Yeah, there was no, it. there was no like, oh okay, I can't get up. Like yeah, there was he, nothing. He like got that. a couple of times he got shot and it was like, and he was yeah. fine. No, like no, yeah, mosquito, yeah. Bite. mosquito bite, a mosquito bite. <laughs> that that he did not. He wasn't. <laughs> he was a little bit too invincible. <laughs> Several times. Several times where he was like, mm. Yeah, it was not. Eh, it's just a bullet. <laughs> like, <laughs> so hurt. that kind of took me out of the movie a lot. Um, there was too many villains, for sure. Um, because that's why the, the movie was too long. That's what made the movie too long. Is yeah, the, the movie was, this runtime of this movie is two hours and 43 minutes, and it really did not need to be that long. Um, they overhyped it with, sorry, overstuffed it with, with hours. This movie could have been... 30 minutes less. This, they could have this movie could have been an hour less. No, 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 no. No, it really it could have been 30 movie, minutes this left. This movie is an hour and 42 minutes. Two hours and 43 minutes. Oh, that's what, what I said. Yeah, two, <laughs> hour, two hours and 43 minutes. And it could have been an hour and 43 minutes. It could. It could have been two hours. It could have been two hours. They didn't have to pad it up with the extra 43 minutes. It, there's a whole bunch of extra stuff that didn't need to happen. But overall, it was good. I actually enjoyed it. What, what I did like about this movie is it continuously moved. It didn't stop. There wasn't too much of a lull, even though I kind of fell asleep in the middle. Dad, stop! <laughs> <laughs> no, it had it had its moments where it was like, okay, yeah, lull, and yeah. I don't know. It just there was one villain in the beginning, and I'm like, okay, but then he wasn't even really he wasn't really important. And I I even rewrote the movie in my head where I'm like, we could have took this out and really focused on the main bad guy and yeah. really like gave him more of depth and an arc and and I don't know. But. Yeah, because the one good villain from the beginning, I never saw him again. Like. That didn't pay off in any No, way. we did see him again. Oh, was I? Okay. <laughs> I didn't see him again. But it didn't, it didn't really, it didn't give anything. <laughs> yeah, it, it was okay. Look, the movie was good. It started out great. The middle was great. It ended great. It was a continuously good yes. movie. I enjoyed the movie. It was fun. I had a good time watching it. If you love James Bond, you like you're going to definitely like this movie. I I yeah. mean, if I was a big James Bond fan, I'd be like, this movie's actually really good. Right. Because, I mean, you're getting everything you want out of a James Bond movie. Right. I give it a... I'll give it a seven out of ten. Okay, I'll give it a I'll give it a six out of ten because I'm not I'm Jeez. sorry. No, I mean I'll give it a six point five. Like I you know, I'll give it in that range because I'm like at the just, eh, like you're not Tom Cruise, you're not Mission Impossible. You can't compare it to Tom I can't Cruise. no, you I can't compare it to, compare to, to Mission Bond. Impossible. Because that's the same thing. If he's a spy, he's he's like going on his missions. Uh, the, uh, and, and the thing is at the end of them and at, at, towards the end, he had his whole will you accept the mission kind of thing. Yes. When Mallory when was yes. like, this is the mission. I was like, this is Mission Impossible, but like really, really you know, downgraded. Bond was first. But like they, but, first from the 60s. but like, but like Tom, Mission Impossible really brought the bar up because he will, he will do anything. You know what I mean? 
it was okay. So I understand, yes, Daniel is done, and maybe in the next, yeah, in the next set of James Bonds, it'll be four years from now, four or five years, it'll be a whole new James Bond. But person. you were also saying, you were saying earlier, like you you miss the gadgets of James yeah, Bond. I they, think that's what's missing, but that could set it apart from Mission Impossible. The yeah, gadgets. They, they, they made this one down to earth. This whole Daniel Craig run, the five films he did, they made it down to earth. James Bond. The original James Bond, from what I was growing up with, it was gadgets, lots of gadgets, crazy gadgets, crazy stuff happening everywhere, stuff you couldn't control. I missed that in the James Bond movies. Yeah. They made these a little down to earth. But this one had a little gadgets in it too, not too bad, but the original one was over the top. Right. Over the top stuff. Yeah, so if, I think that if they brought in that over the top stuff, it would have set it apart from like other spy movies, but I feel like it was very generic. I feel like it was very like, you, the beat by beat, like you knew what was gonna the happen. The only next. thing I found wrong with this is it was too long. Other than that, I had a good time with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it was a good time. Yeah. Like, wait, guys, no, I don't want you to think that I don't like this movie. I'm just telling you that it's that it's very, like, you know this movie. Like, you know, you, I bet before you watch the movie, you know how this movie goes. You know what I mean? Well, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, well, check it out for yourself, is, guys. Yeah, Comment. Yeah. Let us know what you think of the movie. Let us know if you liked it as well. And let us know what you thought out of 10, what you think this movie is. And uh, get back to us so we can know. All right. We'll see you later. All right. Bye.